Welcome to the update. Nath Gardner with you. Novak Djokovic's legal team has bought the world number one some time by securing an interim injunction over his visa cancellation. The star player will remain in Australia until at least Monday afternoon after his federal court hearing that morning. While in Serbia, Novak's family has spoken out. His mother, Diana, says she feels helpless. What can I say? If you are a mother, you can just imagine how can I feel. I feel uh, terrible since yesterday, last 24 hours, that they are keeping him as a prisoner. It's just not fair, it's not human. New COVID restrictions are being introduced in Victoria to curb the spread of coronavirus. A density limit of one person per two square metres is back at all indoor hospitality venues. While anyone who tests positive on a rapid antigen test is also being told to isolate for seven days but won't need to get a PCR test. While the New South Wales government is considering tighter restrictions as the state struggles with a surge in COVID cases. 2021 was the 19th warmest year on record for Australia and the wettest since 2016. The country's average temperature was 0.56 degrees above the long-term norm. It's been one year since the violent Capitol building riots in Washington. Thousands of Donald Trump supporters stormed the building that killed five people and injured 140 police officers. President Joe Biden has held a speech to mark the event, warning that Donald Trump continues to spread a web of lies and deceit over the 2020 election. And because his bruised ego matters more to him than our democracy or our constitution. He can't accept he lost. To sport now, England returns to the crease on none for 13 for the fourth Ashes Test, trailing by 403 runs. The Aussies declared at 8 for 416, thanks to a century from Usman Khawaja, bringing joy to the SCG crowd. My former home ground here, but people still treat me like a local boy. And in tennis at the ATP Cup, Alex Dimonor has come from behind to beat Frenchman and world number 35, Hugo Humbert, while Aussie Isla Tomlanovic has been bundled out of the Adelaide International after going down to American Sophia Kennan, who will now take on world number one, Ash Barty. To entertainment news now, it's unclear if former AFL coach Nathan Buckley will continue on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, after the 49-year-old fainted in the jungle in the latest episode. The 79th Golden Globe Awards begins next week, but there'll be no audience, red carpet or a broadcast, due mainly to a film industry boycott. Winners will be announced on Monday. And Kim Kardashian's first vacation with Pete Davidson in the Bahamas is being splashed all over Instagram. Kim going into selfie mode. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. 